affection and thanks led a very special mailman to an amazing party to thank Norman Brandberger for his friendship and dedication. A lot of uh, people would wait for the letters from camp to come home and always made sure they were on top. Along with college acceptances, special letters from boyfriends far away and bills. You remember the time I told you not to deliver the visa bill on Tuesdays when my husband was off? These <laughs> people, uh, they shared secrets with me that I've never divulged. Uh, <laughs> well, come on, it's time. Come on, it's time. <laughs> not till my book comes out. For 38 years, everyone on Route 76 has enjoyed the punishment. If my book, you know, if I get sued enough, it'll turn into a movie and I'll have Robert De Niro to play me. <laughs> Norm was given this express mail to be delivered by noon today. And when he arrived to deliver it, he found that there was a party going on, a party for him, put together by the parade company. They had to do something for this man who had pushed their cars, brought in their groceries, tended their bars, been part of their lives for 38 years. And it's summertime, we just did the Red Wings parade, and we figured we'd love to do this for Norm. I nailed out 250 customer calendars and put 72 cents instead of 93 cents or something. He put the additional postage on all of them, mailed them, and told me later. After nearly four decades of delivering the mail with a smile, a joke, and concern, Norman is retiring, getting married, and heading to Vegas with rolls of quarters for his customers and a special place in their hearts. In West Bloomfield, Nancy McCauley, Fox 2 News. Now that's a mailman. And the fun was just beginning for Norman. Another street on Route 76 held a luncheon for him. His replacement, by the way, was completely speechless when asked about filling his shoes. <laughs> Big shoes to fill. But after 38 years of pounding the pavement, the postman is delivering for the last time on his five-mile route. Channel 7 Sandy Hank has the story. Punching out on drunk for the last time. Norm Brenberger's boss hands him his last express delivery. After 39 years of service, he is retiring. Won't have to do this very many more times. This is his route of nearly four decades. Hand delivering baby congratulations, then bills, the graduation announcements, and wedding invitations. This is it, Bruce. This is it, man. Man, want to be on TV? Yeah. Come on, Channel 7, man. I'll tell you for everything. Everyone knows Norm because he's lived to make others happy. This is Kathy Barlow. This is Bruce Castera. Well, I'll be happy to have you on here. You know, if you can do a half the job this guy does. I'll try. Like that. He said you're good. Yeah. She's good. You know, he's taking care of me. You know, mail's important. I hired in, and uh, I said I was only going to stay here until something better came along. Nothing ever did. So I stayed. And I've never regretted it one day. Rain, snow, sleet, gloom and night, all that. No. We'll miss you. I miss you too. Thanks a lot. Take care, ladies. Bye. He walks away with yet another farewell gift. Quarters for Las Vegas. People have been giving me quarters for Las Vegas. The word got out that I've taken my bride and both our mothers to Las Vegas, and we're getting married. And someone said it would be a great idea if they just give us uh, rolls of quarters for the slot machines. Norm's getting married after all. Yes. That's why he's retiring today. And he has a hunch his last express delivery is a setup. And he's right, you know. After 38 years, his customers have become his best friends. I remember when your daughters were trying to pack that car. I'll never forget that. My golly. Yeah. Well, how big you got? <laughs> Would you like a cookie? Oh, not just yet. Norman, who gets more bills than anybody else? <laughs> That's right. And when it's over, it's back to the route, carrying letters for the last time. And so to Norm and so many others like him who give and give and give, congratulations and thank you for a job well done. From Bloomfield Township, I'm Sandy Hang, Channel 7 Action News. That's so special. You forget really about the important neighbors they are. So slim and trim, did you notice? He's a walking he's advertisement. <laughs> Dear friends, just a few lines to say goodbye and to tell you how much I've enjoyed the past 38 years. When I first started on this mail route in 1959, I had no idea it was to be the beginning of a wonderful adventure and the creation of so many unique friendships. There's no other job that's quite like this.
where you're on someone's porch on their property talking to them about just everything and you have this uh, camaraderie it's been acknowledged that uh, i'll stop and have a conversation with anybody uh, and sometimes i have to pick up the pace and maybe only take 15 minutes for lunch uh, to make up for the time that i spent but it's always been worth it the mail i mean how important it is I always discouraged hiring part-time people because it's the sanctity of the, of, this, of the letters. About 20 years ago, I got stopped by two postal inspectors. And they said, do you have a blue envelope postmark from Ann Arbor, Michigan? And I looked and I did. And they said, take that out. Don't deliver it. And I said, okay. And they started to walk away and I said, wait, I have to know what's going on. Well, they looked at each other and they said, okay, don't read the word of this to anybody, but that's a suicide note. The woman wrote to her husband that she was going to kill herself, and she changed her mind. And she didn't want the letter delivered. Well, it wasn't. And I delivered mail up there for years after that, knowing that the gentleman never knew the letter existed, and the woman never knew that I knew that it was intercepted. It's, it's, it's overwhelming that I've gotten into people's lives like I have, and, and they into mine. If people went on vacation, I'd make their house look lived in. They gave me the keys to their homes out here that they wouldn't get to their relatives or neighbors, but they had me change the timing lights and check out their furnace and their water heaters, which I did, and I never snooped in anybody's stuff, which they knew. I've never been bitten. And I'm talking about some of the most notorious the dogs. I don't know if I can use the word bribe, but that's what it is. Um, you know, a biscuit for, you know, you want a biscuit or a bite, and they prefer the biscuit. Now, I have a lot of dogs that uh, anticipate a biscuit, and some have favorite flavors. <laughs> I knew that this day was coming, and um, I didn't want to have a lot of fanfare. Uh, I've been here so long, you know, I used to have hair. Heck, my dad used to have hair. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's the media. I never regret it a day. Rain, snow, sleet, hail, gloom of night. Never had a bad day.